So here we are, here's uh, Mr. Lucky Cat and me. <laughs> it's uh, just bef before midnight and uh, the end of day three. It's been an, an interesting day. Um, I went to see some friends in Brighton today and um, I'd woken up feeling really alone and not really knowing how on earth this is going to happen and so grateful to everybody for all their help but feeling it was just not going to happen if something didn't grow or, or become uh, a bigger project and I'd had trouble <laughs> inviting people to the Ning site because um, I don't always process things very well. I used to be very efficient in IT and now I find quite simple tasks quite difficult. And I was trying to get my email address into the Ning but I couldn't find the file and Chris once again came to the rescue and, and sorted it out for me. And um, and then I went off to meet my friend Jules and uh, a community they were doing a Tash Dash in Brighton and uh, it's the last chance I get to see Jules so uh, I wanted to pop over and also see some of these friends and it was just so wonderful because I was greeted with great big hugs and um, a friend of mine Teresa has uh, written to let them know what's going on and they're going to take it on and really um, spread the word and it just was lovely and I really got a sense of community and and support so that was really really nice and then I get a call from Chris saying that he and my nephew are gonna create a proper site where the video blogs and things that people have given um, in exchange for donations to help me there'll be like a place there so that was good and then the other thing that happened was that Yes Life have created a proper page for me on the website which you can go to and uh, I'll be sharing the link on the uh, cancercurechoices.ning.com site. And what else happened? Um, hmm, I can't remember. <laughs> it's been a long day. And I went to see my lovely dad and uh, let him know all the details. He, he kind of knew the basics but I only really found out Friday the official diagnosis that the uh, cancer was in the lymphs even though we suspected they were a bit dodgy. And um, and he was great and uh, I was able to share with him about this amazing things that are going on in the world and, um, and just share uh, how that's going to happen and how I'm really committed to be well and uh, really drawing a line on this forever um, and that's the thing I like about the treatments uh, with the the center in Israel is that this is um, a long-term solution so it's not this recurring um, thing that I'm always in fear of so I really like that and um, I think that's all I've got to say today oh something really exciting is Ian Paul Marshall has uh, come up with a wonderful project which is uh, writing, calling all angels. He's written a, a note on Facebook, it's on the Peace in Our Lifetime Facebook page, um, where he's taken on writing a book about the peace within and in, is inviting you or any authors to submit chapters to this book uh, which he's going to put together, which will be able to be downloaded and uh, in exchange for a donation. So that's really cool. Mr. Lucky Cat just came up to see me just after recording that last little bit. And so I wanted you to see what a darling he is. And I just wanted to share that, um, you see on his face there, it's, it's white here. It's because he's got cancer too. <laughs> and he had radiotherapy last year. <laughs> and he stood around. But the poor love, inside his mouth, all the skin has burned away and it's just like bone inside there so he has to have antibiotics and painkillers and you know it really made me really aware of uh, the things that can happen <laughs> with radiotherapy but this is what he's like he's just there for me 
and uh, he's my really really best friend but I just thought I'd introduce you to him because he's just here and uh, wanted you to see just how amazing he is. Lucky good. He's a very good boy. Anyway, I'm wishing you good night. Night. <laughs>